day 1 kenotic love grace we ask for the grace to get rid of self love and to grow into self emptying love keeping in mind the common good of the entire universe that is the creation of god who created me in his image and likeness reading encyclical letter lauda tosi of the holy father francis on the care for our common home chapter 6 ecological education and spirituality number 217 the external deserts in the world are growing because the internal deserts have become so vast for this reason the ecological crisis is also a summons to profound interior conversion it must be said that some committed and prayerful christians with the excuse of realism and pragmatism tend to ridicule expressions of concern for the environment others are passive they choose not to change their habits and thus become inconsistent so what they all need is an ecological conversion whereby the effects of their encounter with Jesus Christ become evident in their relationship with the world around them living our vocation to be protectors of god's handiwork is essential to a life of virtue it is not an optional or a secondary aspect of our christian experience reflection we are created by god with free will in order to share and manifest his love hence we are invited to look at ourselves in relation to god and the entire creation our stewardship begins and ends with our accepting of god's ownership of everything that exists today we live in a world shattered by corona pandemic where self survival is more than sharing it is a time of social distancing but it is also a time for spiritual closeness to one another we are relational beings and we like to socialize therefore social distancing is very distressing however this is the need of the hour each faithful is on a mission by being non carrier of the virus thus i can save so many lives by not quarantining i could be putting the vulnerable people at risk being at home is a saving act and the lord would expect us to do that we cut ourselves off physically from the world but we can be united with the other by sharing and not hoarding the essential supplies by praying for the suffering by sheltering the homeless the lockdown period could be made use of for prayer in god's presence we all are united 
staying connected through media in relationship with others beyond my quarantine sending the positive vibes being grateful there is always something for which i can be grateful the good health the companionship the shared meals etc engaging in meaningful creative works and acts of love and kindness for they can be more contagious than the deadly virus lord walk with me during this day of my retreat <laughs>